the Bible talks about the importance of our ancestry. The importance of what's in our generational lines. The Bible describes that there are such things as generational blessings, which are blessings that come into the family because of the righteousness of ancestors. But also the Bible talks about generational curses that come because of the sin of ancestors to bring a curse onto the family. Now, I'm actually standing in Boom Road, New Brunswick, and this is actually my family on the Mullen side. This is our ancestral home. The house behind me is actually where my father grew up and they built it in 1927. And as my family was, as his family was growing up there, they discovered Jesus. And then they became part of the, the beginning of the Boom Road Pentecostal Church, which you can now see in this lot right next door almost to my family homestead. And so my grandparents were one of the charter members of this church, which is now, of course, booming, the Boom Road Pentecostal Church. And that's an example of generational blessing. Because of their righteous acts, generational blessings have come down to my family. And on Kathy's side, it's the same. She has several generations of church planters, of evangelists, and even women in ministry. And so that that has brought a blessing into our family. But every family also has generational sin because not everyone in the family has been righteous. I mean, even going, look at Adam. He brought a generational curse onto mankind. And what the Bible tells us is that we want to enjoy and live in generational blessings and we are to block and get rid of the generational curses because Jesus came to remove all the curses from us. So every family needs to go through this because every family has some sin somewhere in our ancestry. And here's how you actually clear off your family line of anything that is running in generational uh, sin that's running through the family. The first thing you do is to honor the memory of your ancestors. The Bible says that we are to honor our parents. And so we thank God for the good things that our ancestors have done because they did the best they could with what they knew. And then to clear off the generational sin, then you repent as the current representative of your family. You repent for the sin that your family was involved in. So that's identificational repentance that you just go before God and as the current representative in this generation you repent for the sin that your family has been involved with somewhere you don't have to know what it is and then you forgive them you forgive the family members for their errors for the the unrighteousness that they brought into the family and any curses that may have resulted and then you bless their memory and you ask God to clear off any generational curses so that there'd be no obstruction to the generational blessings that he intended for us. So that way you can redeem your family history even if it's been a bad one. And you can turn it around and start to live in the blessings that God intended for you. So now I want to hear from you. And tell us the story of how you've redeemed a, a family history that may not have been great how God has redeemed it and now you can actually start a whole new era of generational blessings in your family because of your righteous conduct. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form on this page. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, bless, thank God for your ancestors and, and just wipe off all any generational iniquity.